Hello everyone. Today we're going to be putting the Rocknix operating system on the Battle XP G350. This is also available with ArcOS and a few other custom operating systems. But if you're like me and you just see the breakneck pace of Rocknix development, it is interesting to standardize on that across devices. And so we're going to go through the process, even though it is not officially supported, of putting Rocknix on this handy budget little handheld. Here on the PC, let's get a few files to get started. We'll start here on the Rocknix wiki. Select the latest version. And the thing to keep in mind here is that you're gonna to wanna to select the one for the RK3326, the B image. This is the one that works with the Battle XP. Select to download, we'll give it just a moment. Once that is done, let's open up the folder. We're gonna right click and extract the gzip file. In my case, I'm going to use 7-zip. This will create the .emg file that we will put onto the SD card. After that's done, let's plug in our USB drive with the SD card image. Uh, this had a previous installation on it, but I'll be going from scratch. So, Quick note, this was a mistake. Flashing over an existing installation will cause a disk corruption error. When you write the image the first time, it'll, it'll change the style of the disk to be a master boot record MVR type. If you're reformatting and writing back on top, what you'll want to do is delete all the partitions. In my case, I'm using mini partition wizard and then convert the disk to a GPT disk. So I'll start by deleting all the partitions, convert to GPT, apply. Takes just a moment. And then I'm gonna create a new partition so it gets a drive letter for FAT32. This is not gonna last since it'll be written over. Apply, selecting drive letter E and starting the write. Okay, we can exit 132 disk imager. And now let's open up Explorer and go to our brand new written Rocknix file. And we're gonna to try to force it into using the DTB file. This is the device tree, the binary version of it for the R36S. For whatever reason, this is the one that seems to work with the Battle XP. So to do that, we're gonna go into the boot.ini and we're going to, we can delete all of these if checks and we are just going to force it to load for RK2326 uh, game console R36S. Copy that here, save, quit. We can eject the SD card and put it into the device. So turn it on. Let's see the screen light up a little bit. There it is. It's gonna take a few moments to do its initialization, uh, setting up the file system, expanding the share file system to fill up the entire card. And there we go. We are into Rocknix. Here you can go into system settings, change your time zone, you and set the kiosk mode. And one option that is available on Rocknix is Portmaster, but for that you do need an external Wi-Fi dongle since it does not have internal Wi-Fi. So for that, I'm gonna go into network settings. You can change the name if you'd like. This may not find your dongle initially, so I'm going to reboot. We're gonna go into network. Find the SSD. Pause for a moment while I put my password in. Okay, now the password is in. We're gonna go back. And after hitting the back button, it should enable Wi-Fi. And if it works, you will see a Wi-Fi indicator pop up right there in the top right corner. Now we can go into tools and select Portmaster. And Portmaster will want to update the first time that you launch it. Portmaster is my favorite thing about these budget devices because it's a lot of power for very little money. Once we get through the disclaimer, Portmaster is ready to go. And that's it. Everyone enjoy Rocknix on the Battle XP.